All right, exciting day. What uh, we're at Whistling Straits again today, and we're playing the Irish Course. Another Pete Dye design. In, he, just FYI, Pete Dye specifically designed courses to uh, ruin me, and uh, so it's great. I love it. This guy's like a heavyweight champ out there, just rope a doping me left and right. We're gonna tip this guy out at 7201 today. Gorgeous day. Wind is not as wicked as it has been, so uh, we're looking to shoot uh, better, hopefully. And uh, Mike, director of golf out here, is uh, joining us. Good man. Let's hit it. This guy, this Mike too, is joining us. Golfholics, follow them. Let's rock and roll. All right, here we go. Wisconsin. We're playing Whistling Straits. And today we are playing the Irish course, a 7,201 yard peat die design. Winds are blowing and it's a beautiful day. First hole, 400 yard par four. Straight away here. And a little dog leg left. Right up there is where we're trying to go. Straight into the Lake Michigan. Feeling good today. This is our last day at the Whistling Straits property, so we're. Showing this round first. Perfect. Nice. All right, I fell asleep at the wheel there and forgot that I roll my camera, but I had 122, hit a 50 degree wedge to about 20 feet, just missed the ridge here, which would have fed right next to the hole. Love starting off with a good look at birdie here and had a good putt, just burned the edge. And that will be a common theme today. A little hint for you. Okay, second hole is 372 yard dog leg left. We're just trying to hit the fairway there and then uh, hit our approach shot into the green. This is going back into the wind, but just taking a three wood, just trying to feel my swing get kind of warmed up for the day. No shot tracer on that one and missed it a bit right, but just in the first cut and Going into this green with a 54 degree wedge, hit a good shot, hit the green, but no spin on this thing, and it ends up rolling off the back. Oh. So I'm back here, and this is what you call a total miss read everything there. So I left myself about a 15 footer for par, which of course I'll make. Oh. Um, but like I said, I was going to burn some edges today, so and, stay tuned. Uh, all right, we're on the third hole. I love these. Short, par three, about 147 yards. We're going back into the wind today. It says 135 to the front pin. It's probably playing a lot more than that. Going with a knockdown six iron here and just held onto it, missed it a bit right. Pretty far right, actually. Have this little pitch shot from about 15 yards. Pretty easy pitch, but I, I hit a good one. It just released a lot more than I thought it would. But, you know, still about a 10-footer for par. And lip out. Yeah. Buckle up for those. Number four here is 489 par four. Big, big daddy hole here. Dog leg left. It's going to take everything we got. Hitting driver, obviously, huge hole here into the wind all the way and hit a great drive. Middle of the fairways, 215, three wood and smoked this thing. But noticing, looking at my swing, I'm aiming right, right a lot. So it's gonna be a problem. Have this 20 yard bunker shot, beautiful hole, but tough for sure. And left myself 30 footer for par. Not what you want to do. But on this big hole, it, a five felt like kind of a par, to be honest with you. Number five is a 570 yard par five. Going straight away, then dog leg pretty hard to the right there. Big hole again. And once again, I'm aiming right. I don't know why I do this, but it's a bad habit of mine. I've got to break someday soon. Wound up in a bunker again, so I'm just laying up with a little punch nine iron. 
And the bunker shots would be my best shots of the day. Just another heads up for you. A 165, six iron back into the wind. Hit a great shot. And got kind of a bad break. It hit the green and rolled off the back. And have this little pitch. Had a horrible eye back there, unfortunately. So got no spin or check on the ball. And just kept going. So at about eight footer for par. And that's hanging on the lip. This hole is uh, par three, 160 yards into the wind, slightly uphill. Good looking spot here. The par threes here are spectacular. Pete Dye does an amazing job with this course and you just never know exactly where you are on the golf course. Like, go look at it on Google Earth after you play it. And you'll say, well, where were we? You just don't know. Kind of burn the edge for birdie, but hey, I'll take par there any day of the week after that start. 372 yard, par four, hitting driver here on the seventh hole. And uh, it looked like it went right, but it was right in the middle of the fairway. And this swing was my favorite swing of the week and prompted swing changes to be shown in future videos. Stay tuned, gave me a good look at birdie. Yeah. Miss Reed and par is good. All right, good par. Eight here is a 555 yard par five. Beautiful hole framed by these changing colored trees. Fairway's right there. It goes a little downhill to the right. Once again, I'm aiming right. And I'm hitting good shots. They're just going where I'm aiming. Unfortunately, I thought I was aiming more center of the fairway. Put me down here. Four iron layup shot here. So there's just a little creek thing you're trying to carry. And I put it in the fairway. 115, a little knockdown pitching wedge. Still working on that shorter swing. Put me here about 30 foot putt, which the way I'm going, I'll probably burn the edge or get it halfway there. So I did the ladder and had a 15 footer for par and story of my day. It's just not going well right now. Five over now. Uh, okay. Ninth hole, 484 yard par four. There's some big boy holes here. Hitting driver, hit a great, great drive. And luckily I didn't aim right on this hole. Right down the middle of the fairway, a little 120 yard pitching wedge. I did aim right on this shot though, but I thought that ball above my feet would pull that ball left. It did not. So this 25 footer for birdie burned the edge and would backhand that in for par. All right, par four, tenth hole. Dog leg left. Good news is uh, I'm getting to see a lot of this golf course, places that most people never see. So I, I'm feeling lucky that I get to experience the full extent of the Irish course. 205 four iron. There's a bunker up there on the right. I'm actually trying to get in. And oh, close, like uh, it's in the worst position ever. Not in the bunker, but kind of sandy lie. Little pitch shot puts me about 25 feet behind the hole just off the green and stubbed it on the collar and backhand bogey is what we call that. Hole 11 is a 208 yard par three. And yes, that is a three wood or metal in my hand going back into this wind. And oh yeah, I also aimed right. So the ball went right. Shot tracer didn't even like it. I hit it so bad. Actually, I hit it good. It just went where I aimed. I'm pretty far right. Pitch shot with a 60 degree wedge. And left myself about 12 feet for par. Let's see if I can burn an edge again. There it is. I got good up lucky. <laughs> totally redeems himself. 12 hole is a 413 yard par four. 
beautiful hall. All the holes here are spectacular. And Shot Tracer tried to get me to go left of where I aimed, but no, the ball went right of that. I'm in the Wispies. 155 in, 8 iron. And the Wispies just turned my club head over, so I hooked that. I'm down here, pitching up. Obviously didn't like it, but I just had to get it somewhere on the green. Give myself a chance for par, but made bogey. 13 hole here is 183 yard par three. Kind of going up the chute to this green that's a little tucked away. Framed by these bunkers right behind it. It's a gorgeous looking hole. This, I hit it well, the six iron. I thought I missed it. Well, I did go right again. I don't know if it bounced off a hill or what it did, but it's on the green. So I, I was feeling lucky about that one. Had about a 40 footer for a birdie, left myself about six feet for par. And this time I managed to squeak it in. You're all rooting for me. Like I'm Gorgeous hole here, 564, par five. Gorgeous looking spot for sure. Dog leg left. Looks like we can just bomb it way down there. And a little downwind today, so you never know. Someone might have a go. And a little tip for you when you're playing poorly, just try your best to work on your attitude. Yeah. So I kept a smile on my face no matter what. At least I tried. And hooked in the bunker. And like I said, bunker shots were my specialty of the day. So laying up with the 7-iron left me about 120. Got about a 50-degree wedge. And this was a great shot. This was looking right next to the hole. And so, you know, keep that smile on your face and you might make a birdie. Ten foot putt here. And um, or you could hang it on the lip again. Either way, keep smiling. March on through. It's a rough day. It's gonna happen. These are uh, these are called Scottish blackface sheep. And they just cruise around, do their thing here. The sheep you can hear their bells ringing. All right, 15 is a 479-yard par four. And after watching those sheep, I'm feeling feeling good. I didn't go right. I went straight, but you kind of wanted to play a little bleeder fade on this one. So I'm up in the wispies again, 205, four iron, and I'm just trying to leave it a, sh a little bit short of the green so I could have a little easy pitch up which I did, 54 degree, little pitch and run here. Hit it great. Just didn't release like I thought I would. This is a 15 foot par putt. And this we call, okay, that was messed up. Like if we could pull the flag, that would have went in. So we call that a COVID par. These guys felt sorry for me and they gave it to me. So uh, 474 yard par four, 16th hole. Once again, spectacular layout, design, everything. Oh yeah, and I went right again. So, I'm used to this. In the Wispies, three wood from 240. Mm. And, yeah, a little bit right again. I'm down here in trouble. Third shot, pitched it up. And, well, luckily I have this for par. Burn an edge. All right, after all that, you know, marching around on this hole, I'll take a bogey. 17 is a great hole. Well, there's water left here, and so you want to be a little right. So that's kind of right in my wheelhouse today. Hit driver, and I hit a good one. A little bit right, 148 iron back into the wind. Still water left of this green. So you want to stay a little right, and I, I yeah, I stayed way right. Put in this bunker, and like I said, bunker shots were my specialty. I put this about 12 feet from the hole. It's about a 30, 40 yard bunker shot, and lip out again, or burn the edge, whatever you want to call it. Putting wasn't my specialty of the day, but that takes us to 18, and you can see that water there on the left. It's not really in play. This was my best drive of the day. I was told where to hit it. There's a mound out there, and I hit it exactly where I was instructed to hit it 
And uh, it was a little right in this rough, so I chunked a five iron down there on this par five. I really wanted to go for it in two, couldn't do that. And this would be probably my worst shot of the day where I just missed it a little right with the 54. It rolls all the way down the sail, so I'm gonna have some fun here on the last hole and pot a hybrid. Totally misread that and got to do it again. And uh, I didn't even wanna walk back and grab my putter. So I putted with the hybrid for bogey. Yeah, you made it. typical. So good, bad, well, fun, exciting day on the Irish course and 83 for me. All right, guys, that was the uh, Irish course here at Whistling Straits. Obviously, I took a beat down big time. Just uh, everything. He died. He, he does me does me wrong. And uh, But uh, this guy played pretty well today. Had a Mike. couple birdies, had some uh, decent shots, but also had some bad ones. And Pete Dye definitely won the match today. Yeah, and this Mike, he, he knows how to play. Yeah, I got it around okay today. Yeah, he did all right. So I hope you liked it. I uh, hope you like seeing me uh, implode. But it's good. It's good stuff. You need it. Keep grinding. Anyways, I uh, love you guys. See you in the next video.